So in the last few videos, we learned about the set type, which helps us to manage a list of values. But when we need some sort of an association between information and values, then we need the map type. So in ES2015, a map is an ordered list of key value pairs. And in maps, both the key and the value can be of any type, unlike objects where the type of the property is always a string. Now let's try to understand about maps and their methods with a few examples. A few examples. So first up, to create a new map, we knew it. So let my map is equal to new map. Now to add an item, we use the set method. So my map dot set, and we within parentheses we specify the key value pair. Now the key is going to be first name, and the value is going to be Chandler. Now we can also have numeric values. So my map dot set age, which is thirty. Now to retrieve a value that is set, we can use the get method. So my map, or in fact, let's try to log this onto the console. My map dot get, and we have to pass the key, so f name. And this is going to retrieve the value associated with first name. So when we go to the browser, and I need to build this, so control shift B, Okay, so we have Chandler. Now we can also use objects as keys within a map. So let me create let ob1 is equal to empty braces, let ob2 is equal to empty braces, and we can have my map dot set ob1, and then let's have a value of 10. And similarly, my map dot set ob2 and 20. Now we can do the same to retrieve the values. So log my map dot get ob1. So when we save this, we have the value 10. Now we can use the size property just like sets to know how many key value pairs are present in a particular map. So over here, I'm going to say log my map dot size. So right now we have four key value pairs. And there you go, four. Now the next thing is we can use the has method to check if a key exists in a map. So we can say log my map dot has. Does it have a key called first name? So when we save this, it's going to return true. So if it did not exist, it was going to return false. Now we can also have, or we also have a delete method to remove a key value pair. So I'm going to delete this before size and has so that we can verify if it's working. So my map dot delete, and we specify the key. So we're going to delete first name. So now when we save this and refresh it, so the number of elements or key value pairs was reduced by one and we don't have first name in the map anymore. So it returned false. And finally, we have a clear method that removes all the key value pairs from a map. So over here, I'm going to have my map dot clear. So when I save this and we refresh our browser, we are going to have zero elements. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.